the Junior Super Sport race lined up and almost ready to go. It's Super Twin 650s, a few 400s and a few 250s as well. The red flag's away, it's engaged gear, then watch the flag. The way they go, and it's 121, Michael Gillen who leads them. Mark Johnson on 46, 122 is Chris Meyer side by side with Johnson for second place. Also in there, 117, Anthony Lillis as the next wave gets away. And you can hear the Super Twins roar as they head down towards Gorton. This is the third wave, Billy Lyle. Billy Lyle, the unmistakable sound of a Honda 250 leaving a start line. Into McAdoo, it is indeed. Michael Gillen who leads from Mark Johnson. Threatening to pull away from the other riders. The likes of Chris Meyer, etc. This is Billy Lyle of the third wave. Well, Michael Gillen and Mark Johnson continue to pull away. 136 is indeed O'Donovan, but he has passed Chris Meyer. I have to look out for the second wave of riders as well because there were some quick men in Group B. But here are the quickest men on the road so far. And it will be Michael Gillen's name. He'll be top of the leaderboard at the end of lap one. Mark Johnson should be in second place. We'll have to wait and see what happens with wave number two when they come through. But here comes Gillen to cross the line now. So it's Gillen from Johnson, eight tenths of a second. John O'Donovan is in third, but for how long? Here they come, the next wave over the line they go. And RJ Wolsey's already gone through, and RJ Wolsey, who's in Group B, has slotted into third place. He's around three and a half seconds down on the leading pair, but he's just over a second ahead as someone goes on at Gorton. Oh, in fact, something's happened at Gorton. Here we go again. Oh, dear, oh, dear. 37 into the back of 17. That is Hogan hitting Ford. Ford, the newcomer. Going up to complete lap number two. It's still Gillen from Johnson. The gap pretty much the same as it was on the previous lap. Differing lines going through the chicane. But we're looking back at RJ Wolsey, the man in third place. The three laps completed then, and Johnson has taken six tenths of a second out of Gillen on that lap. Gillen with the fastest lap of the race so far on lap number two, but he has lost a little bit of time to Mark Johnson. RJ Wolsey already gone through, he's still in third place. That's Hatch on bike 68. The wave two riders already mixing it with wave one. Here are the two fastest men, and by some distance, Seven and a half seconds ahead of Wolsey. Meanwhile, this is Billy Lyle, who is way down the order at the moment, just ahead of Sean Wynn. Gillen from Johnson still. And no matter how hard he tries, Johnson just cannot seem to make up the distance between himself and the race leader. Seven. That was Willis down in fourth place. So eight tenths of a second the difference that time. So Gillen two tenths faster than he was on the previous lap than Mark Johnson. Well, there's an incredible battle going on. It's mixed between wave one and wave two riders. But they're all within a second of each other, or pretty much a second. Chris Meyer, Darren Duncan, Francis O'Hara, Lee Ospreay, John O'Donovan. 1 2 2, it's Chris Meyer. He's in seventh place, but he's got about six other riders, all within a second or so of him, on the leaderboard. Well, the race leaders right in amongst the traffic now. Billy Lyle being passed. By Michael Gillen, Mark Johnson will be next on 46. Not where Johnson would have wanted to have found Billy Lyle. 
Through he goes, but that has cost Johnson. And meanwhile, Mick Gittings has been passed by the race leader as well. So that worked out very well for Michael Gillen, not so much for Mark Johnson. And again, Johnson just finding the back marker at the wrong part of the circuit. Just going into the turn. So that really is now advantage for Michael Gillen, the race leader, as they go on for this last lap. The leaders have crossed the line, and it's Gillen three seconds ahead of Johnson now, so the back mark has certainly worked in his favour, and it's going to take something very special from this man to catch the race leader now on this final lap. 117. Anthony Lillis still in fourth place, but he's around eight seconds down on RJ Woolsey, who still holds third place, but he, of course, is in wave two. That's why he's not in the picture at the moment. Gillen looks to have this one sewn up as long as he doesn't encounter any more trouble with bat markers in the same way that Mark Johnson did. Here comes this battle for seventh place. 136 John O'Donovan ahead of Chris Meyer. So O'Donovan moving back up the leaderboard. On the road, he is ahead of Aaron Hatch, but Aaron Hatch is in wave B. Aaron Hatch holds fifth place at the moment. 105, that's Duncan. That with Billy Lyle. It looks like he may be closing in on Gittings, is it? Checkered flag is ready, awaiting for Michael Gillen. Here he comes, takes the win, and it's the fastest lap. He had gone quicker on lap five, but he's now gone 134.9 to take the victory. Mark Johnson will be second. We'll have to wait and see about third place. Unfortunately for RJ Walsey, having held third for so long, he failed to finish. That means Anthony Lillis takes the third place on the podium. Mark Johnson is second, with Michael Gillen the race winner.